there was these kids in my hood, and they was called Twisted Skates. <laughs> And they used to write graffiti and skateboard, and I, I wanted to be down with that shit so bad. I was like, damn, I want to do this. So I remember one day, like, I got a skateboard from my mom. Damn, that lady is nice, fuck. So, like, I got a skateboard, and I learned tricks, and then I started, like, writing graffiti more. We go back to Philly, and then, like, we meet Bam. And so, like, Bam had made CKY. And I was like, damn, this shit is cool. So I, like, made a video that showed what went on when we traveled. It was like, you know, they, they smoke their drugs and then we go out to a bar and you find some girls and they're skateboarding, mixed in with like random other shit. It was just called Ian Reed's video. After that, I made another one. And that was when I somehow was friends with Reynolds and Ellington and all the Baker dudes before Baker, like right when Baker first started actually. And I was living with Jay Strickland and off and on at the Baker office. And so Jay Strickland taught me how to edit videos the video stuff was still good, but you know, like Bam and those dudes, they were already on to like television shows at that point. And I was still just at the same spot. And then skateboarding started to taper off. I mean, I'm still good at skateboarding, but I wasn't at that point of like good like everyone else. And then I just transitioned from that into taking photographs. Sometimes with video, you can kind of see exactly what's going on. Like if you see someone get punched in the face, we're like, okay, yeah, you got punched in the face. Where if you see a photo of a person whose cheek is red and their eye is black and blue, you don't really know how they got that. So you have to think about it. You're just like, damn, how they get that? And your interpretation might mean something way more or way deeper to you. And then you resonate with that and then you cherish it. And you're just like, fuck, I love this shit, like, because of this. So that's why, Photography is the medium I chose to like tell those stories. That's it, it's perfect, at least to me. I think I, I did get into shooting BDSM after I shot this girl that lived in my hood. I ran into her somewhere like in the hood, just some random shit and she asked me to take a photo of her. So I took the photo of her, she showed all her friends the photo and they were like, oh, this is cool, like, we took this, we wanna meet this dude. So she was like, my friends want to meet you. And she took me and introduced me to the friends. And then so I met the friends and then they started inviting me to parties. So I would go to these parties and I would take photos and then you, I would just meet more and more people. And then it just became an outlet for creativity because I could do what I wanted to do. Like nothing was too outlandish. Like nothing was too crazy. That there was always a person at one of these parties who was into whatever I was thinking about. And then, yeah, and that was like, that was like my introduction to like BDSM photography was like, that was it. After that, it just like, I started shooting a lot more stuff in that realm. Yes, Michael! Mike and those dudes were always supporters of my work and uh, I was always happy about that. And then one day on Instagram, Mike just hit me just like, yo, would you be interested in letting us use one of these photos for a board graphics? I was like, yeah, no problem, of course. You know, it's like Carol asking me, fuck yeah, no problem. I think it's crazy. I mean, his work and it's just what he does and just where he goes and what people are willing to do. Skateboarding really influenced his approach towards life. And I think it's a fun thing that happens when you ride a skateboard. The world it opens up a little bit more than it may. And I think he's taken that approach and applied it to a new medium. I went from skateboarding where the goal was to have your name on the board. I didn't successfully achieve that through my skateboarding, but I achieved it through my photos. So it is like full circle in a sense. And like, I'm happy about it. I was like, damn, I'm kind of pro. Like, you know, my name is on a board. I didn't earn it from fucking skateboarding, but kind of I did because if I didn't skate, I would never have known Carol and those dudes and my name wouldn't be on anything. So like, yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. I'm like happy about that shit. Fuck the
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.